guys this is the most powerful the most accurate and the most comprehensive trading indicator i've come across and when you use this indicator you can trade comfortably and with just this one indicator you won't need any other indicator i don't even think that you need a paid trading view account because in this one indicator you have more than 50 functions and market detections capability making your trading experience easier even if you are a complete beginner in trading and you can actually use this same indicator because you use it on trading view to trade crypto you can use it to trade forex you can use it to trade stock you can use it to trade anything that have a candlestick or a chart to actually analyze now the whole lot of components combined in this one indicator and i'll be doing a series of videos explaining you know every part of this indicator to you so if you are new to the channel or if you have not subscribed to the channel make sure that you support us by subscribing to the channel and not just subscribing make sure you hit that notification bell so that whenever i publish these videos you'll be the first to be notified okay by the way it doesn't cost anything to subscribe so just hit that subscribe button and let's get it rolling and if you want to take advantage of all the free signals we share every day all the daily trainings we have okay on how to make money in the crypto space and all of that make sure you join us on telegram using the link in the video description and a whole lot of resources like best exchanges you can actually trade with all in the video description so check out the link or check out my bio to join us on telegram and learn more the name of this particular indicator that i'm talking about is the diy custom strategy builder indicator it is a free indicator on trading view and the way you use it is basically if you want to add this indicator to your chart you just go to the indicator option here okay and click on that and then you can just type in here diy okay custom indicator all right so you see it here diy custom strategy builder indicator okay and then this is the name of the creator of this indicator just click on it once and this will be added by the way you can see that i favorite this already so next time i come in here i don't need to search for it i just go to my favorite list and i'll be able to see that indicator so once you add it up to your chart this is what it looks like by default um it comes with its own setting but i just amended you know did some adjustment to these settings so if you want to adjust this indicator all i need to do is to hover over the indicator's name here and then go to the setting option and click on that and that will bring up this you know panel for you so you want to go to the input option make sure that you're on the input option and as you can see guys there are hundreds okay and hundreds of setup right here okay but what i want to basically show you in this video is this this particular setup that i've been test running for days now and um how you can actually go about it all right so once you add up this it comes with its own default um you know settings you have a whole lot of indicators you know bullying jabbers a whole lot of combinations okay of indicators of strategies and all of that that you can use with this singular indicator okay we have super trend half trend you know the ishimoku cloud a whole lot guys a whole lot the vwap rsi you know bowling japan just mention them all right now if you are if you don't use a trading view account and you want to use all of this indicator it means that you need to be using the highest paid you know package on trading view but with this a free trading view account and all of that you are good to go by the way if you need more features it is actually good to pay for trading view right if you have the money so you don't have a trading view account the link to sign up on trading view will be in the video description so here on this setting panel here um if you check out this dashboard right here okay i have the super trend that i'm using as the leading indicator okay and then i have another um indicator here which is the rqk that i'm using as the confirmation indicator so with this dashboard right here before i go ahead to take a long trade okay both the confirmation indicator and the leading indicator must give me this check mark either on the long or on the short that is the only way if the check mark for long is on the short option with the super trend and the check mark for long or thereabout is on the long option if they are not colorating okay i won't take any trade all right that's why i always allow the dashboard up here so how do we do that if you come in here 
um, basically what you want to do, the single um, expiring candle count, by default it will be three, you can change it to whatever you want, but I decided to use two, okay? Um, I can equally decide to use that three, all right? So when I come down here, all of this, I, I allow it, you know, use the default settings for that. Then when I come down here to the leading indicator, I go ahead and select super trend. This is what I want you to do right now and start running it. I'll come up with different setup. That's why you need to subscribe to the channel because I'll be updating you real time. And then the next thing I want to do is to scroll down. Okay. Um, remember the leading indicator is super trend, which is what you see here. So this is for the leading indicator. The super trend is for the leading indicator. And the next one for the confirmation indicator, you have these different options. You can use the EMA filter. You can use 2MA, EMA cross. You can use 3 EMA cross and all of that. Range filter, you can use all of that. So for my confirmation indicator, I'm actually using this one that is checked right here. Okay, you can use all of these indicators that are here, but the one I'm using particularly for this, you can see it on the dashboard here, okay, is the RQK, all right? So with the RQK check, the next thing you want to scroll down, okay, let all this other one be, we'll talk about this in the future, right? The next thing you want to do is to scroll down to where it says the switched board okay turn off and on um, overlay indicator okay you have this different option you can use fibonacci you can use any other one that you see here okay so i'm using the support and demand zone and i'm using the pvsra okay these are some of the setup that i actually saw and um, i want to try this by default it is actually some of the default right some of the default and um basically the only thing i changed here is the leading indicator which i actually changed to the super trend and with that check i just go ahead and click on okay okay and the other thing i do when i come in there if i go to the style option i just scroll down okay to the bottom right i just scroll down to the bottom here and um here i uncheck the labels on price and then the values i don't need all of those so that my chart i have a very little screen so i don't want my chart to be um, you know somehow too busy for me all right so with that i just go ahead you have a whole lot of setups this will look at in the features so i just go ahead and click on okay and basically um let me briefly explain this okay so the indicator automatically map out now i use this on the 15 minutes most of the time you can use it on any time frame you want but this indicator basically maps out this you know support and resistance area which it labels here as supply and demand zones okay so wherever this um price have all this temporal support resistance area you will see the indicator highlighting those areas for you then the buys and sell signals will come up now when it comes to entering trades the number one characters i'm looking at okay so first i have this my dashboard right there which i'm equally looking at before i enter a trade okay so to enter a short trade one thing you want to look at first is that the price is rejecting at you know a resistance area okay or supply area as it is labeled here with the um you know the indicator okay you want to see that the price is you know rejecting there and then we want to get a signal saying that we should short okay once we get that signal saying we should short you want to look at this dashboard okay is the super trend saying the same thing is the you know confirmation indicator which is the rqk saying the same thing all right so if it is short this check mark will be both on the short option for super trend which is the leading indicator and then both on the confirmation indicator all right then when it comes to taking it long okay um the price must be rejecting from a demand zone or a support area okay which this will highlight for you all right and then when we get a buy or a long um, signal here we must equally make sure that the dashboard here is confirming the same thing all right so the super trend the check mark should be long under the super trend which is our leading indicator and on the confirmation indicator the check mark for long will equally have to be active right there okay so i use this indicator i use this setup currently on the five minutes the 15 minutes time frame most of the time and basically in most cases i target just a one to two okay i target just a one to two risk to reward ratio and that is what i've been using to scalp the market recently i'll be making more detailed you know in-depth tutorials about this diy custom builder strategy indicator so make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you gain value from this video give it a thumbs up okay go try the, the indicator and let me know 
um, if it is actually working for you. That is it for this video, guys, and I will see you in the next video.